What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to TPA Edge Geek, and today we're going to be doing a two model unboxing for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you guys are, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on the post notification bell so you never miss out on any new content to come. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing a Gemini Jets and an NG models. Can you try to guess which is which? I'm not sure. You might be mistaken. An NG models might be in one box. A Gemini Jets might be in another box. I'll let you know that Gemini Jets is a regional, just to confuse you a little bit. Um, but with that, well, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss out on any new content to come. If you guys have not checked out my Southwest Airlines trip report, uh, please make sure to go check that out. I'm sure you guys will like that a lot. And yeah, then let's come back and watch this video. So let's go ahead and start unboxing these models. We're going to begin off by this one coming from the... Um, Diecast Jets. Uh, we're gonna be begin unboxing this one, and uh, then move on to this one, which is the most recent one. Actually, I'm gonna unbox, get to the box, and I'll be right back. All right, so here we are getting into the box. Super excited for this one. This is gonna be a duplicate of a model that I not too recently got, kind of a, a while ago. But let's just lift this up here real quick, and then we'll immediately release the model. Yes, sir. We have the American Eagle. Bombardier CRJ 700 operated by SkyWest in this box. Let's put that to the side and let's begin off the review. All right, so we're going to begin off by reviewing this model. The box is kind of dented in there. Um, we'll make work with what we have. So we're going to take a look in here. We're going to begin off with the Gemini Jets logo made for collectors by collectors. CGI image of November 706 Sierra Kilo. As I've seen pictures online and reviews on YouTube, it appears to be fixed. So, fingers crossed that this one is fixed. Bombardier CG 700, American Airlines logo. Look inside. 1 to 400 scale die cast model. Going to make sure that it's all good in there. Yes, it is. You can take a look at that there. There you go. And look at the side. CGI image. And all that jazz again. Adult collectible model. It's the side. And then the bottom. And then we have this back here. Which is the aircraft climbing. And it's a 2022 Gemini Jets, Las Vegas, Nevada release. So we're just going to hop right into the box. All right, there we go. It looks... Okay, there's some things that I'm noticing, like, straight off and out of, like, before even getting it out of the box. And I'll explain that in a few... Seconds, I guess. I'm trying to read something that says there on the box that it said CRJ 800 or something. Pulled that right out. All looks and appears to be fine. Put that down. All right, so we are going to begin off the review here, and we're going to start off right here. We have the up. Uh, we have the nose cone, cockpit windows pedo tubes and all that. Then we have operated by SkyWest titles right there. Then you have the um, L1 door. Then you have the One World titles. Then you have American Eagle. Then you have the emergency exit. And then you have the uh, Winglet, I guess. Oh, shoot. What is that? Dang. Did you guys see that? Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at that right there. For my American Series 700. Sheesh. Okay, so there it is. It appears to be that it was loose or something. I'm not sure what that was, but now we have a wing tip list. Um, American CRG 700. That is really interesting. Literally, I picked it up from the table for after, you know, like right after I finished that clip. Picked it up from the table. And literally, this literally just popped off. It just came right off. That is insanely stupid. We're just going to finish the review here. Just no winglet. Ignore that. Uh, emergency exits. And you have November 706 uh, Sierra Kilo. Then you have the engines and the cargo compartment down there. Then you have the American Airlines tail. Then we have the horizontal stabilizers and the main landing gear. Moving to the other side, we have the, once again, nose cone, 
cockpit windows, front landing gear. We have the R1 door, Alberta West Skywest titles down there again. Then you have the American Eagle titles. And then we have down there a cargo compartment. Do we have that cargo compartment? We do not. Because uh, it's actually on the wrong side. Sorry about that. I messed up on there. Uh, it's on the other side, actually. I forgot about that. Main landing gear, a uh, winglet that is actually correct. Um, then we have the overwing exit, November 6, 706 Sierra Kilo. Then you have your engines in the back. And then you have your um, tail. Yes, these look perfectly fine, perfectly aligned. They look awesome. Other than just that winglet was all messed up. But yeah, we have the um, bottom of the aircraft here with the stand hole, Gemini Jets titles, landing gear compartments, you know, the back APU area, and then all that good jazz. So I'm going to message diecast Jets and let them know um, about this. Okay, so just ignore that. I've already kind of tried to fix the issue. I'll let you guys know what happens in the near future, hopefully. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, open this other box uh, and hope for better luck from the Midwest Model Store. With that, we're just going to begin off here with this box. It's my first time ordering from them, so let's get right into this box right now. All right, so we are in the box. We'll go ahead and tear this apart. Very nice. We're just going to lift this up to release a model that I've been wanting for a really, really long time. And I can kind of already see it through there. So we're just going to lift it up in three, two, and one. And boom. Here we have the Midwest model store thing. I'm not going to take it out. I just had a really bad experience. So I have to like delete that clip and like cut it out. But here we have this from the Midwest model store. Which I don't know why it comes like that because it shares a lot of personal information. But all good. There we have the beautiful model that we've been wanting for in a really long time. It is the uh, NG Models Missouri 1 737-700 for Southwest with split skimming cars. So we're going to go ahead and try and get that out. That was very tightly packed in there. Right there it is. I'm going to go ahead and start um, taking a look at this beautiful box that we have with some beautiful art. So starting off, we have Boeing 737-700 trademark. We have the Missouri one or the Missouri State uh, seal. Then we have the CGI of the aircraft with split scimitars. First NG model with split scimitars. Then we have the Southwest Airlines logo. Then we have the registration November 280 Whiskey November. NG Models logo, 1 to 400 scale model. Moving to the side, we have Southwest again. Then we have the Southwest on this side, which looks very nice. And then we have beautiful Southwest in yellow and then the heart. Then at the bottom is just blue with the aircraft. And then back is the same thing as the front, just in the back. But yeah, the box appears to be uh, very um, damaged down here. That sucks, but I guess we're just gonna, as long as the model's fine, we're not gonna care about that too much. Take a look. Oh, yikes. Box damage is big. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and open that up. And we have the beautiful Missouri one. Go ahead and take this up. Comes with the plastic right out. And here we have the beautiful Missouri one, 737-700. And of course, in the box, we have the um, Collector's Reward Program ticket. All right, so let's get into the review. All right, so now we're going to begin our review in Missouri 1. We had much better luck on this one, thank goodness. We're going to start up up here with the nose cone, carpet windows. Then at the up very front over there, we have Missouri 1 written right there. Then you have 280 in the front of the aircraft. Then you have the L1 door with the uh, heart logo, Southwest heart logo. Then you have the Missouri State um, uh, seal, which says United We Stand. It has two bears right there, kind of holding on. And then we have an antenna down there. And then we have a blue moon, another bear down there. And then that is a seal of some sort. And then we have an emergency exit door with another antenna right up top. Uh, right at the top. And then we have the Wi-Fi box right there. 
Uh, only thing I kind of see wrong with this model is the red, and it's maybe a, like tight, tidy, maybe a tiny bit too like vibrant, but that's just right about it. Uh, then we have the split skimitar winglets. Actually, the red is not really that bad. Looks pretty realistic. Uh, you have the, um, of course, beautiful split skimitar winglets. And then you have the main landing gear. Two antennas down there. And then we have, continuing on, we have the registration, November 280, Whiskey November. And we have the um, L2 door with the Southwest Airlines tail. And then the horizontal stabilizers. What a beautiful 737-700 mold. Wow, that is gorgeous. So moving along to the other side, we have just about the same thing. We have the nose cone, cockpit windows, Missouri 1. And then you have 280 up at the front. Then you have the R1 door with the Southwest uh, heart again. And then you have the cargo compartment out there, or the baggage compartment. I don't think you can see it due to it being so light and the bear being so dark but it's there and then you have the continuation of the seal on this side um just about the same thing uh then you have these blue kind of like i don't know what those are called like fins that are just coming out of the wing uh in the blue color i think it's the only southwest state livery that has that on its aircraft then you have of course the continuation of the seal and then just the main landing gear again, and then once again those beautiful split skim tars. Then those antennas again, and the Wi-Fi box, then an antenna right behind it, and then November 280 Whiskey November. And there should be another cargo compartment or a baggage compartment right back there. I'll confirm if it's there. Because it's really like, you can't even see it. Yes, it is there, right there. Hopefully you can see it. And not really. This model's kind of hard to look at the um, at the cargo compartments because the colors are super bright on, on this on the aircraft. So, but yeah, other than that, it looks really nice up there. So now let's take a, a beautiful uh, look at the bottom, which is always the most exciting part about these special liveries. Wow, what is beautiful? Look at that. Then you have all of this continuation down here for the Missouri seal. Then you have the um, landing gear compartments, two on, two stars in the back. Wow, the engines. I did see somebody who had a crooked engine. Uh, this one is kind of crooked, not not even that much. But wow, this is the best 737, out, uh, 737 mold out there for sure, like people have said. Alrighty guys, so during editing, I wanted to bring a very special 100% attention to the to this very uh part of the aircraft being the front landing gear um compartment doors that close right after the aircraft takes off or opens right as the aircraft um puts the wheels down or up okay so at this time i want you to look at uh, right directly to the um door compartment and you will see that the very front of it is chipped uh, it's not fully chipped off like the the paint like the piece isn't completely lost it's there it's just like hanging like it's chipped but not completely broken off so that marks these two models as 100 percent broken which means this was a completely failed massive unboxing uh, not massive unboxing pardon me two model unboxing as well, both models were broken, which is very unfortunate to see that both models were broken in this unboxing, both uh, as of the current time, because this was recorded, I um, believe this was, this was recorded May 23rd, um, which was quite the ways back, because uh, this is going to be coming out, I believe it is, coming out uh, June... 10th uh which is gonna be a friday and i'm editing this on june 3rd so yeah by the time this comes out both replacements have already been here as of the current time the replacements are already be here and they're going to be in a future unboxing along with many other new models with that ladies and gentlemen let's roll that right back to the video and missouri one is finally made it to the collection now at this point the only really state liveries that i'm missing are Nevada one 
and I believe that is it for me because I have just about all of them so yeah with that we're just going to conclude this unboxing here all right thank you guys so much for watching today's video i really hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did please consider liking the video subscribe to the channel and turning on the post notification bell so you never miss out on any new content to come with that my name is tpa afgeek i'll see you guys in the next video as tpa afgeek is signing off